but I mean, we're going to go through all the pain, aren't we, with them, um, with Windows? It's probably. I mean, I don't know. Is it going to ask me for like advertising stuff and all the garbage that comes with Windows? One of the things that really turns people off about Windows is all that rubbish, and I don't know why they do it. I mean, Windows is Windows is. It's actually probably if you stripped all the crap off, it's not that bad an OS, and it's supported us for years, isn't it? But the the stuff they've laid on like Copilot and all the telemetry they send back and the fact that there's all sorts of that stupid bar that pops out with tons of advertising on it and it's just awful it's just an awful user experience now you know they they i mean i know they they try and make it um you know accessible for people um, but it's just not great and for games it's interesting as well because we've just got the xbox ally x that's come out which is literally supposed to be like an xbox on a handheld you still don't know you know, if that's running Windows, it's not, you know, optimum. I know immediately the first thing they, the reviewers did, they tried to put Bazite on there and they got better performance. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? If you, you know, you, you're trying to um, compete in that thing, they need to do like a ship a stripped down Windows version, which is, they don't care, do they? Stripped down Windows version that's purely aimed at games. That could be a bit of a game changer for people like Steam. Because if there was Windows games version that literally stripped everything out, um, made Windows 11 run it like the most it could, then that would be problematic for Steam, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's like device manufacturers, handheld stuff would, would jump at it. If there was a small footprint 